Hi. Nice to meet you. Hi, nice to meet you too, Lucas. I am so excited to talk with you. So glad to have you with us. Should I be saying good morning? Yes, it is morning in Colombia. Colombia, very nice. So you must be drinking coffee, or am I wrong? <laughs> yes, I like pretty, pretty, pretty much coffee. <laughs> that makes sense, absolutely. It's so nice to meet you. Yes. So what? Uh, so, tell me, tell me, tell me. What do you think about your English? Do you think it's good? Um, I think it's a little bit good. Uh, I want to improve it, and that's why I'm here. That Listening makes total to sense. <laughs> <laughs> and is this your first day here? No, 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 no. I I am being here listening to you like uh, 50 days I guess so you've been hanging around in the background yes. <laughs> so today you feel more confident to try and speak yes a little bit confident today <laughs> that is good very glad to hear that well your English is very clear so you should be confident <laughs> a little bit I don't think so <laughs> I think it's all right. So why are you learning English? Um, I learned English uh, at university mm -hmm. uh, 12 years ago, but because of the lack of practice, I feel like an A1 person. <laughs> I don't know. I want sure. to improve. <laughs> but why are you learning it still now? Do you have a goal like meeting people or traveling? And no, I want to be a professional translator. Mm. I want to be a certificated translator. Sure, so that's I, a really good job. <laughs> I want to approve the exam to be a certificated translator. And I need to improve my speaking because a part of the exam is speaking, mm -hmm. listening, and I have to improve my listening too. I am sure you can do that. Yes, it's tough to be a translator or interpreter, but I think yes. it's a really good job, right? Yes, but I don't want to be an interpreter. I, I mm. just want to be a translator in writing, no more. <laughs> I see. I see. Yes, that is also a separate thing, but that's very nice. And do you think you are progressing well? Will you soon get a chance to do the exam? Yes, the date of the exam will be uh, at the middle of the next year. Mm. That gives so you plenty have, of time to keep practicing. <laughs> yes, I have maybe eight months to practice. <laughs> I think that's yes. all right. And so what do you think is the hardest part about learning English? The speaking because in Speaking because in Colombia, nobody talks in English. So it is that too difficult sense. to find someone to speak, to talk yes. with. Yes. Well, we, good that we do get Colombians in a chat so now and then, but mostly from Peru and Brazil, I see them a lot. <laughs> yes, I saw that. Mm. And have you joined the community? Have you talked to them yet? Uh, I am in the, com in the community, but I didn't talk yet. Yeah, I see many people do that, <laughs> and that's okay. But I hope you can join so you can practice your speaking. Uh, yes, yes, I, I want it. I am sure then you can pass the exam. You have eight months, you can definitely pass any exam in eight months if you just keep practicing. Uh, yes, I want it, and I want uh, to improve it listening to you every day. <laughs> I'm so glad to hear that. That definitely helps out, but make sure you actually do practicing out loud, speaking out loud every day, because that's the hardest part for most people. <laughs> yes, <laughs> yes, yes. All right. Thank you so much for calling with me, Melissa. Thank I appreciate you it. Thank you for me. I am so excited. I was excited to talk to you. It is my pleasure, and I hope to see you around in our community. <laughs> Yay. <laughs> Thank See you, you so later. much. See you later. Bye. Bye-bye.
How kind, Melissa, good job. It is very hard, but uh, she's doing well. Eight months to become a professional translator, especially in writing. It's tough, like those exams are tough, but eight months is a good amount of time to, from where you are now, to make it absolutely perfect. I believe in you. You definitely got this.